Veterans of Foreign Wars post 8280 held a flag retirement ceremony on Saturday to display the proper ways to dispose of flags that are no longer in use. Thanks for joining us. I'm Adriana Daniel and News 9's Viana King joins us with the importance of this event. Community members and veterans met together to dispose of older flags. They're considered no longer usable in ceremonies or other events used to celebrate our country. As we've gathered so many flags up, uh, just today alone, up by our table, well, there's, there's about 400 flags all together. And that's just only a small portion of flags that needed to be disposed of or retired. The retirement event started with an allegiance, along with a presentation for her veterans start the disposal process. How to properly dispose of it when it's worn out and how to treat it, uh, like saluting, standing, uncovering, and so forth. Respect our country and for all the veterans, some gave some and some gave all. One woman that served in the desert storm says she loves to come and support and she wishes other women would too. We need women here. We are strong women. We, I'm one of only one or two women that exist in the auxiliary. That's kind of sad. There's a huge call for women veterans to come to the VFW post. Throughout the event, Boy Scout members played a huge role in the opening flag ceremony. And one Scout leader says events like this are important to the community. All Scouts should do uh, definitely is a good flag ceremony um, to get involved with. With the VFW, especially since many VFWs are uh, donators towards Scouts. Um, and then the flag ceremony itself is just kind of something special to see. To honor the memories of those that have served our country, have died for our country, after all, this is what we fly the flag for, is a remembrance of what our country stands for, the democracy that it is. Organizers and the members of the VFW really want people to understand how important flag burning ceremonies are to those that have served. In studio, Viona King, News 9, WAOW.